What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of Methods Machine Hut Fest here in Tempe, Arizona. Joining me now is my friend John. Hey Ian, good to see you. Now this is a brand new release, the Sidekick. Tell us a little bit about what makes this different and why this is so exciting. Sure, so the Sidekick we announced literally this morning. So this you're seeing a one of one system here right now. And you know, really what it is, another example of how we integrate the Fanuc Robo Drill with the complete automation solution. Um, you can see we got a Robo Drill, it's got a basic table, cart system, robot. And really what this machine is designed, or the solution is designed for, are for those small and medium shops that are either struggling with labor, looking to get into automation, um, and really just looking for that extra set of hands during, you know, during the day where they've got other tasks to do and they just want to keep their machine running. And that's why we called it the sidekick, right? It's your extra set of hands in the shop. Um, really simple to use, light unattended machining, just gives you a reliable system that's going to keep you in the cut uh, throughout the day. So this is not a system that someone basically needs a university degree to learn how to set up? No, no, not at all. No, we really tried to make this as user friendly as possible. It's got a teach pendant, really just you, you give your coordinates, your part coordinates, your, your cycle time, you hit go and really it's it's made for an operator that is just, you know, knows the parts they got to make and is just looking for the basic system that will keep them in the cut. And for this system here, this is really useful for companies, as you say, they're struggling with labor. Because at the end of the day, if you have skilled labor and you actually have that right now, yep. the last thing you want them doing is loading and unloading machines right, exactly. when there's so many better things they could be doing. Now with this system here, is this kind of more for high production or does low mix, high vol sorry, high mix, low volume also kind of apply to this setup? Yeah, I mean, high mix, definitely high mix, low volume, but if you're running 30 of the same parts on one tray, right? You know, if you're saying you're running a high volume of parts, this is the kind of system where, you know, you're clocking out for the day, you can load your table and just let it run and then, you know, the machine will finish and your finished parts will be there in the morning. And that's so the best it's, way to do it. Yeah, so it's, it can, you know, support you during your regular work hours or kind of give you an extended shift after hours, um, you know, as long as, you know, you've got the parts to fill it up. And what kind of industries and businesses do you think this is really going to appeal to? I mean, really any of your small or medium job shops that are taking in a various amount of orders. So you mentioned uh, high mix, right? So, um, but it's, it's really looking at those shops that are just, um, you know, you got medical devices, firearms, parts, you know, even like small, you know, small automotive or just small aerospace. I mean, it's paired with the robo drill because our whole thing is if, it fit, if your part fits on a robo drill, it should be cut on a robo drill, industry agnostic. Um, it's really just if you've got the application for it, it's giving you that extra set of hands. And although this is set up here on this robo drill, is this essentially compatible with any of the robo drills we yeah, see? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've got different size bed robo drills here, up to the 500 millimeter, the new Y axis machine. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll stick it in front of this. We got a 28 tool machine here in front of it, but even the small bed, 14 tools. Um, we'll, we'll put it on anything. I mean, we've been integrating robo drill with automation for more than 30 years, and We'll make it work. And if people want to find out more about this brand new release, of course, they should come to Methods Machine Fest. But if they can't make it, where can they go? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you can't make it out here, methodsmachine.com. It's right on the homepage today. Again, we just announced it today. It's got everything about the solution, more about why we did it, and uh, all the support and engineering that you'll need. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, make sure you guys stay tuned as we continue our live coverage of Methods Machine Fest. You take care.